It is important to understand your mission, your passion in life. Are you setting the kind of lifestyle where you live life on your terms? And if you find that when you're trying to attract love, it's on everyone else's terms and you're trying to make them happy, there's maybe some type of people-pleasing mentality, then you'll find that you keep playing according to their frame. You're trying to be the cameo in their movie. And many times when it comes to masculine, feminine energy, what a feminine energy wants is that masculine to be centered. That feels secure to the feminine energy. Wants that freedom. That wants the, the, the man normally, or the masculine normally wants freedom. That's what we talked about on, the, on Rebecca Boatman when she was on my podcast. The masculine normally wants freedom and the feminine normally wants security. This is just in general. And it, it doesn't have to always be the case, but in many cases, I will say that when I looked at almost all my past relationships, I always crave freedom almost over everything. And if I start to feel that lack of freedom, it starts to, in a way, make me feel like I'm in a box. Now, the thing that I would encourage you to do before we even get into like, how do you attract this and the, the understand polarity and all these things, it's are you creating life on your terms or are you being the cameo in other people's movies? Now, even not just romantic, are you being the cameo in other people's movies, your friends and stuff like that? Realize you are the star of your own movie. And if you've been playing a shitty role, understand that at a certain point in your past, you agreed to a shitty role. But if you agree to a shitty role, understand you're also the director. You can give and just decide, I'm not playing the shitty role anymore. I'm going to be the star of my own movie. You ever see those movies where it's like, uh, it's like Finding Nemo, right? You got the, the Nemo is the main character, but it's actually Nemo's dad who's like trying to find Nemo because it's about Finding Nemo. <laughs> and then what happens? At a certain point, Dory says, screw this, I want my own movie. She's like, I'm not going to be the cameo in Finding Nemo anymore. This is now Finding Dory. She can't remember shit. <laughs> And that's what the movie's about, right? And that's the idea. Imagine there's like these sequels of movies that you're in. And every scene, every, every interaction you're in is a different sequel. And what happens is you've just agreed and given yourself permission at a certain point in your past and said, I'm the cameo in other people's movies. And then you've played that role. And then other people get used to you playing that role. And now if you were to stop playing that role, they may say, what's going on with this person? Why aren't they being the way I expect them to be? They're challenging my viewpoint of them. But the point is understanding that you can be the way you prefer to be. You can change your role and by giving yourself permission to be the star of your own movie. And one of the ways you become the star of your own movie is you decide what your vision is. Vision is also very attractive to feminine energy. There's a lot of women that may have been attracted to some guy in the past or some woman, you know, just remember the, the gender thing, uh, just, just in general, masculine, feminine, and maybe they had a strong attraction, but they eventually left it because you're like, this person has no vision. They have no drive. They have nothing they're really working towards. I don't feel secure. While I enjoy this aspect of it, I don't feel secure in this way. So the thing that I recommend to anybody watching this that wants to develop more of an attractive energy, realize this may not be just about attracting love. This may be about the way you're showing up in your life in general. And if you find that things aren't going your way, maybe it's because the energy dynamic at stake is that you are being the cameo and you aren't taking your star role back. And the way you take your star role back is you just decide, you make one choice. This is who I am. I'm going to do what I want to do, not what everyone else wants me to do. I'm going to go for this. You may realize that in certain areas of your life, you may have been playing it very small. Maybe you're like, you know what? I'm going to college because just my parents wanted me to. I don't even want, I want to do this. Maybe that's an example of that. And maybe a symbol of that is you going for what you're passionate about. And as you go for what you're passionate about, you start to feel empowered. Maybe when you used to go out on dates, you'd be like, what do you want to do? And, and then like, oh, can we go do whatever you want to do? And then now you realize, you know what? I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm not going to, it, it, this doesn't mean you don't take them into consideration, but it means you have a certain level of gravity, even if that gravity creates a little bit of polarity. Because then, in that masculine frame, you're centered on your own energy. You have your own value system. And that also signals to someone else that you're in abundance. That signals that you're not needy because you fill up your own cup. 
You see, the things that we crave in other people, whether that is validation, whether that is love, whether that is connection, those things we crave in other people, we already have those within ourselves. We can already feel connected to ourselves. We can already feel our own sense of mission, our own sense of, of whatever we crave, validation, worthiness. But when we start looking outside of ourselves, we start to externalize our own energy. And when we externalize our own energy, what ends up happening is then it's scattered around. And then other people feel that on us, and then they may feel that neediness. And the only reason we put people on a pedestal is because we believe that they are, we put them in a pedestal in our mind, we believe that there's some sort of, uh, what is the word, a noble, like some sort of um, special, we, we're externalizing our own power. We're also fantasizing, that's the word I was looking for. We're fantasizing somebody else. We may tell ourselves a story about them. Oh my goodness, on a scale of one to 10, this person's like an attractiveness of like 11. Oh my God, they're so, they're so hot. I really hope everything goes super well. Now, this doesn't mean you got to see them as a four in order for you to feel more confident. And this value system in general is just, it's, you know, is a thing of in itself. That's a whole other topic and debate. But understand that by, by viewing people on this big pedestal and by making it really, really important that things go well, it's about, de it's about understanding importance and neediness. Now, if you realize that all of these things you want, validation, connection, worthiness, if you realize that all these things that you want, that you used to maybe think were in somebody else because of the stupid Disney movies that we watched growing up, yes, some of them are great. I loved Aladdin. I cried during Lion King. But understand that the narrative for all of them are almost the same. And what that does is that kind of, in a way, messes us up because then you've got people that are waiting for their Prince Charming, not knowing that that love, that worthiness already exists inside. And if you got, you got then the masculine that is doing whatever they can to prove themselves to other people, they need to be the hero that or overcomes all these obstacles to then finally get the woman in the end. And what ends up happening is the journey along the way ends up sucking because there's an externalization of power the whole entire time. Now, the paradox is if you were to deprogram yourselves from those movies and realize you can tap into your own power now, you can create life on your terms now, you can go through your own purpose and passion now, what you'll find is that then you begin to feel more powerful. Understand the powers within you right now. You can take the ability to put the energy in the direction of what you want right now, not live your life on everyone else's terms. You can become the star of your own movie by understanding the story that you tell yourself about who you are, how you show up in the world, and this is how you get money, love, and success to chase you. Because you change and you rewrite the rules to who you are. If you haven't seen it yet, I have a step-by-step -step process that shows you exactly how to take your power back so that you feel empowered and so that you create life on your terms, so that you have money, love, and success chase you. And all it has you do is you have to understand this level of neediness, decreased importance, making it natural for your self-image, for you to be the way that you want, and then things begin to gravitate towards you. That's what I realized back when I went through this process, and it changed my whole entire life. I used it to become a full-time YouTuber. I used it to become a top salesperson at my old job that I had. And it's exactly what I teach in something that is called Mind Shift Meditations with an S.com. Mind Shift Meditations is about shifting back into your power, creating life on your terms, and going through the process of S-H-I-F-T and transforming your life from the inside out. And what I guarantee is that you'll never be the same again after you go through that. And there's a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee because I believe in it that much. So if that's something you're interested, check out. There's also some really cool bonuses. One of the bonuses is what's called the Epiphany Notes, where I literally go through, I go through hundreds of, uh, there's hundreds of screenshots that I share with you from hundreds of different books in my iPad of screenshots, circled sections of books and stuff, of Epiphany, also notes that I put, 
hard, kind of hard to read some of the notes I put in there, but the idea is you get to see kind of inside the mind and you kind of get to see the biggest epiphanies that have changed my life and all these different books and whatnot. It's called the Epiphany Notes. It's a free bonus if you join right now. Plus, you get all the premium meditations that come with it, which help you to facilitate this experience, but also so that you change your identity at your core. When you change your identity, you change your life. Like I said, if you want to check that out, all those bonuses included. Mind Shift Meditations with an S dot com. And you can join there right now and you get all those bonuses included. So yeah, excited about that as well.